it's Ketty, and I'm here with another Funko Pop Saturday. I did not do one last week because I just had so much to do, and I was like gone all day Saturday. So my accumulation of pops uh, this week <laughs> is excessive. It's actually the last two weeks. So I want to go ahead and show you the pops that I got. Um, some I got in boxes that I. There's one box, I got the Star Wars Cantina box and um, my video didn't work uh, when I filmed it. I filmed it opening the Smuggler's Bounty and it didn't film and then I gave the stuff to my husband and he tore the box up and so I couldn't refilm that but it would have been late anyway so I do have the pops from that to show you if you haven't seen what came in the Smuggler's Bounty, the Cantina box. Um, other than that, I have some Barnes & Noble exclusives that I picked up at a Barnes & Noble pre-release. I have Hot Topic exclusives and GameStop exclusives and there's so many exclusives that I just can't wait to show you guys. Um, and my Funko Pop collection is growing so enormously fast and I'm so excited about it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get to it. I'm going to show you one of my favorite ones first. I can't believe that I found him, but I did. So, one of the first ones that I picked up was, it's from Harry Potter, and it's a Barnes & Noble exclusive, and it's the Sorting Hat Harry Potter. Oh my god! And I'm not taking him out of his box. But he is sitting on the chair. Um, you can see him here. He's like sitting on the chair. And my box isn't in great condition, but they only had one and I couldn't not get it. I didn't want to pay ridiculously expensive prices to buy them online. So the next one I got is a Barnes & Noble pre-release and that is Neville Longbottom. Now it's just a pre-release. I don't know if it's going to be an exclusive or when this comes out if it's all that special, but it's Neville. Yay! Uh, ho -ho. Okay, so this one I got for the hubby because he loves the Ninja Turtles. Um, and unfortunately, I when I opened the box, um, it was a very shallow lid and there was no protection, so I cut it. I did that. Meh. Um, but it's Shredder from the Ninja Turtles. I want all of these. This is our only one right now, but I'm not going to spend a shit ton of money on them. I say that and I bought all this, but, you know more money. I mean, I could spend even more money. Um, the next one I got um, is Red Snaggletooth from the Smuggler's Bounty. And you could have got the blue, I guess, variant version. I did not. I got the red one. And then also from the Smuggler's Bounty, there's Ben Kenobi. The next one, um, so I had a really bad week last week uh, for personal reasons and uh, I was a little bit down. Uh, you probably can't tell because I come across pretty in my videos, but um, I had a pretty rough week last week and my boss at work actually noticed. So he knows that I'm an avid collector of pops, so he went out and he got me some feel better gifts and he got me two. Um, the first one he got me is Olaf, the exclusive. So Olaf is all glittery. Yay! And he ended up getting me two I don't have. I have no idea how he did that, but he did. Um, the next one he got, which I absolutely am so excited about, is Princess Leia. I think this one completes my collection of these six on the back. Maybe I don't have this version of Han Solo, but that. Um, yeah. So then I got Jessica Rabbit, because I love Jessica Rabbit. I have a ginormous statue of her. And because I got Jessica Rabbit, I had to get Roger Rabbit. I love these pops that don't take the traditional mode, mold, mode, mode, mold, mold of pops. All right, so now I'm gonna get into my hot topic bag. Hot topic. So this one I got from GameStop, and I'm so freaking excited because I don't actually have. 
have one of these. This is my very first one, guys. Captain America. And I know that we're getting a Civil War box, and I know I'm probably going to get another one. But I just loved this form. He has his shield, and he's kneeling, and uh, he looks awesome. Top five favorite pop right here. It could be biased because I really like Captain America. They're all American superhero. Alright, and next, I made a comment that I don't have a Spider-Man pop, so I bought one. I bought the Hot Topic exclusive, um, red and black. And the reason I bought, like, pops at Hot Topic are more expensive. So the only pops that I will buy from Hot Topic are the exclusives. And the only reason that I bought three of them is because I had hot cash. So literally you spend $30 and you get $15 off, so I bought three, but um, this is one of them. Spider-Man, black and red. That's just my rant about how expensive pops are at Hot Topic. Um, the next one is another Hot Topic exclusive and it's Bambi. Yay! And it's flocked. My flock Bambi. And last but not least for the pops, it's dun, dun, dun. the Falcon, and he's awesome from Civil War. Another Hot Topic exclusive, and let me tell you about this, guys. I went to get this specifically. This is why I went to Hot Topic to use my cash, and I know that I loved his wings in it. I don't know if you can see it, but he actually has his like wings out here. Um, I love the sculpt of this. I was very excited when I saw it and I went there and I was like, do you guys have the Falcon Pop figure? And they were like, no, I'm sorry, we're all out. And I'm like, oh. So then this lady comes up, right, and she puts the Falcon Pop figure on the counter. And I'm like, but you, you said you didn't have many. Well, anyway, so the guy's like, another guy came up, and he was super, super nice, right? He was like, let me go look around for you and make sure that we really don't have any more. I'm sorry that that happened. So they were really upset about it. I'm sure they don't know every single pop they have at the store. Uh, but, I mean, maybe you should look before you say you don't have it. So this guy looked around the entire store, and he came back with Mr. Falcon and said, I grabbed him from the display for you from the front. I'm like, okay, that's easy, right? So I'm walking out of the store, and in the front, they have this huge, giant stack of pops. And in, like, the fourth row from the bottom, and, like, almost the middle, there's this hole. And I'm assuming that he somehow managed to get this pop out of that giant stack of pops for me. So thank you, Hot Topic. Much appreciated. Alright, so things that are not pops that I got are a cute but deadly mystery mini. Now, let me tell you, I'm a little bit upset about this when I actually saw them in the store because I got these in a box and I thought they were supposed to be exclusive to that box. I actually got Sylvanas with the bow. They're, they're not exclusive. I have one in my hand, guys. But anyway, I wanted to open it on camera with you. This is a very expensive box. This is a $10 box. Again, I had to use, I had to spend 60 So I was like, why not get in the, I didn't see any other pops that I really wanted. Oh, so let me show you what you can get. Um, you can get Kerrigan, Arthas, Sylvanas, uh, Zeratul, who is the only one I don't know who it is, a Murloc, Diablo, Two Mystery Murlocs and another Arthas. And I really want the Mystery Arthas. Or Arthas would be, would be awesome. Alright. Diablo would be cool too, but I have no idea who this is. Could be Diablo. I got Office. I don't think I got the mystery one. I think I just got the regular one. But I got him. He looks so cool. 
And he has a stand, which my Sylvanas did not come with a stand. And he has his sword. Very cool. Yes, I, I, I tried to pick the heaviest box there because he's one of the biggest figures. I guess that worked in my favor. And I only bought one. And I only wanted him, so I probably won't buy any more. Unless I could get a Murloc, because that would be cool. I like Murlocs. <laughs> well, hello. I have my Murloc here. Murloc. And... I don't like wow or anything. Alright, so the next thing I got is a science fiction vinyl series to Mystery Mini with the Hot Topic exclusives. So, what I want is a Hot Topic exclusive. And I did not get a Hot Topic exclusive, I got one I already had before. Wonderland playing cards because I love Alice in Wonderland. I don't know why I just did that, but like original Alice in Wonderland. Huh, I love them. And last but not least, I got a Disney Zoom Zoom, which I'm not really into Zoom Zooms, but. There's an Alice on here, and I want Alice, or the Mad Hatter, or the White Rabbit, to say there was Alice in Wonderland themes on here. He pulled me in with the Alice in Wonderland, so I'm going to open this. Come on guys, cross your fingers and your toes if you can. that you just haven't been able to find. Thanks guys, I'm Kathy, bye.